a white male, late 60s, 5'8", approximately 160 pounds. Code 4, two in custody. Sir, you did this. We pulled you over for expired tag. No, you're not going anywhere. Going back inside. You're not going anywhere. Get a bandana, take it off. Take it off. Why? Stop. Why? Stop. Why are you harassing me? Lisa, relax, relax. What's up guys, I'm Patty Mayo, welcome to the show. Today is Black Friday, that means big savings at pattymayo.tv, 25% site-wide off everything, hats, sweatshirts, t-shirts, backpacks, everything, 25% off from now until Cyber Monday. Just use code Black Friday during Check out and speaking of great deals, Vincero watches the makers of my new favorite watch, the Rogue, sponsored this video. They're having their very own Black Friday sale, up to 25% store wide. Check out their collection; you're absolutely gonna love it. My new favorite watch is the Rogue. It comes in nine different styles. It's durable. I love the craftsmanship. I love the detail on this watch. Typically, I'm not a watch guy, but when these guys contacted me, I took a look at their products, and they, they are they're amazing. It's a fantastic price for a well above par watch. They have everything from luxury watches to tactical watches to watches for different types of lifestyles. You're going to love them. They have over 13,000 five-star reviews. Vincero Watches is known for their craftsmanship and their attention to detail. You're really going to like these guys. Check them out. Link is in the description. And now on to the show. 420 control. Four twenty. Go ahead. Yeah, four twenty. You have reports of a domestic dispute. Twenty eight block of North. Are you able to take the call? Ten four, we're available. It'd be nice if it was up on our cab. I gotta wait for it. Nah, I'll be assigning you. You'll have more information. The cat, the reporting parties, Margaret Gray, suspect Bonnie Buckley is assaulting her girlfriend. Another Miss Gray. Bonnie and who? Ten four two nine. 20 in route. Hello, Sheriff's Department. Hey, what's your name? Where's Bonnie at? Where do they stay? Where do they stay? They stay in there? And what's your name, Teresa? You're Tabitha. Okay. Where's Margaret or Bonnie? Hey, Mark, come speak with me. What's going on today? What's going Martin? on today? You called? Yes. What's going on? Fighting. With? With Tabitha and her Bonnie. girlfriend. And her girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Where's her girlfriend at? Um, I don't know, doing her chores. Okay, why don't you go talk to my partner over here, and why don't you point me in the direction of Bonnie? Okay. Why don't you stay right there on the porch? Have a seat right there. Bonnie's probably out this way somewhere. She's out that way somewhere? Yeah, feeding the animals. Okay, let's speak with you first. Who, who are you having a, an altercation with, Bonnie or Tabitha? You know, Tabitha's my daughter. Bonnie and She's Tabitha. your daughter? Yes. So are you having 
an issue with her, or are you having an issue with Bonnie? I'm having an issue with Bonnie. Okay. Putting her hands on Tabitha. And she, so she, Bonnie put her hands on Tabitha? Yes. Okay. Big Red, she likes to be called. Who likes to be called Big Red? Bonnie. Bonnie. Tabitha, yeah. what's going on with you and Bonnie today? Oh, nothing. Nothing? We just got an argument. Okay, well, what happened during that argument? You got some, some marks on your neck. Is that from her? Um, no. No? No. Well, I think your mother thinks that it is from her. She always thinks they are. Okay, well, did you see no. Bonnie put her hands on I, Tabitha? I didn't see her put her hands on her, but you just know that that's what's going on. Is that what's going on? No. You just don't want to tell us that's what's going on? That's not what's going on. So where did you get the marks from? Um, I saw you got the marks from yourself? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go speak with Bonnie. Why don't you guys hang out here, okay? Okay. That's this guy. He knows where Bonnie is. Might be Bonnie. Big red. No, I'm pretty sure that's the dude. Maybe uh, watch this building here in case she bolts out of the back or something like that. Excuse me, sir. Sheriff's Department. Sir! Sheriff's Department, come speak with me real quick! Are you Bonnie? You to to you come in here. Are you Bonnie? Yes. That. Oh. Uh. She said we can come in. She said if you want to talk to me, you gotta come in here. Yeah. Hey, Bonnie! Why don't you come out here and speak with me? Just in case one of them gets frisky. Now I want you to come over here and speak with me real quick because I'm not comfortable speaking with you around these bulls. Oh, there's another one over there. So can you come this way? What's going on today? Why do you think we're here? I have no idea. Okay, well someone obviously called us here. So... You know you're on private property and you have a camera. We were invited here. By who? Well, by Tabitha. Oh, Tabitha, huh? Well, actually no, I'm sorry. I got all my names mixed up here. Sorry, I'm not familiar with you all, so you let me get a second here. Margaret called us, rather. Yeah. Yeah. Lying. She's lying? Yeah. What'd she be lying about? No, not really. But if you can come over here and speak with me about it, we can probably get down to the bottom of it. Stay. Okay. I'm not worried about the cows, but I do need you to come speak with me, or this is gonna go this is gonna go bad for you. I'm giving you a lawful order to step outside the cow pen, and if you don't, you'll be placed under arrest for obstruction of justice. As of right now, you're not in any trouble. You step on outside. Scared of a little cow, Sheriff? No, I'm not scared of a cow, a little cow. I'm a little nervous about three bulls. Hmm. I, don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what you teach them. So what's going on today? Why are we here? You tell me. Well, Tabitha's mother called us, says that you guys got into an argument. I didn't touch Tabitha. I didn't say you touched Tabitha. I didn't say you touched anybody. Did you get in an argument with Tabitha? Yeah, because that bitch, all she does is just sit on the couch and eat Cheetos. Okay. She don't ever help me do any of this. I do it all by myself. So you got mad that she wouldn't come out here and help you work? Exactly. And where did she get the marks on her neck from? She probably did it herself. Does she do that often? Absolutely. Has she done that in the past? Sure. Have you been arrested in the past? Nope. You haven't been arrested for domestic violence in the past? Nope. Never had a call here for domestic violence before? Nope. I'm pretty sure we've been called to this property before. Well, you're lying. My dispatch is lying to me? Mm -hmm. We haven't been out here before? Nope. And you're going to tell me you've never been in trouble before? Nope. You're on probation or parole? Nope. Nothing. Okay. I'm going to go speak with Tabitha. But I want to find out uh, why she has these red marks on her. I don't think she did that herself. She gets, you know, she gets in one of her moves and she likes to blame me. So she, she, she likes to blame you? And then so why would the mother call and say that 
She thinks you put her hands on her. Because she believes her daughter's lies. Okay. All right, you mind coming up here and speak with me? Or up to my car, rather? You're not under, you're not under arrest. I'm not even detaining you. Has her mother called the police on you before? Yeah, but they never showed. They never showed up? No. How many times did she call the police on you? Once, yeah, I know. Just one other and time? Apparently now. Was it a similar situation? Yeah. Let me see, uh, let me see your hands. Do you live here or do you just work here? Here. Okay, all three of you live here? That's correct. All right. I'm gonna go hang out by my car with my partner. And I'm gonna go speak with Tabitha again. All right, Tabitha. Yes. So, these red marks. Yeah. Where'd they come from? Myself. I get angry and I do it to myself. You get angry to do it to yourself? Yeah, yeah. That way I don't do it to nobody else. So you just got real frustrated with with Bonnie today? Yeah. Over what? Oh, just that she says I don't do anything. She says you don't do nothing? Yeah. I and so so when she was saying you didn't do nothing, then what'd you do? We just, we just argued. She, and, that, and I don't like it when she tells me I don't do nothing. You I just argued that. and then you went your, yeah. you went your separate ways? Yeah. She went and did her choice. Can I see your hands? Is that blood or what's that? I don't know. What's hands on your, dirty. Well, what's on the, what's on this side of your hand? Where do your hands dirty from? Is, well, that, is that blood? I don't. I don't think so. You don't think so? I didn't bleed anywhere. You've been working outside today at all? Oh well, yeah. I mean, we live on a farm. We right, but well, it. she says you're not working. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. She just says never see me do nothing, so she don't think I do. Okay. And ma'am, what what did you see happen today? She don't never I, I see didn't nothing. See, I don't see. I hear. But I'm getting tired of when I see Tabitha, she has marks all over. Well, you just, beside you where? Her scuffle, but you know, I don't see it. Yeah, I see you got a big. You got let me see your. You got a big claw mark down your down your neck here. If she did that to you, that doesn't mean no mean necessarily she has to go to jail. We need to know about it because if you lie to me, that's a crime. If you lie to me, that's obstruction of justice. Do you understand uh, that? Yeah. Okay, you know it's illegal to lie to a police officer. Yeah. Okay. You're not lying to me? No. Nothing else I'm going to find out? No. Okay. All right. Have a seat. Wait here for me. I'm a big girl. I can take and, care of myself. And ma'am, what, what, what do you want to do with her today? Do you, does she live here? Yes. Okay, so what would your ultimate resolution be? I just don't want to fight and argue all the time. It's getting crazy. Okay. Somebody's going to get really hurt one day, and I, and I get scared. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you didn't put your hands on her? No, sir. Never got physical? Sometimes you just have to disconnect with love. Yeah. Yep. Just like a piece of pizza. Sometimes you want a steak, you know? You get to that point you want a steak. Gotcha. Maybe they're giving you a flop for years. And yeah. Yeah, it hasn't been this cold before. Yeah. It can't be a rough one. Are you going to arrest me? No. Why you got your, who's getting arrested? You got your gloves on there. I've had them on the entire time. You have? I yeah, I have. I just took them off to when I was on the phone. Oh, could we be walking up here putting them on, I thought. Are you so. depressed at all? Do you feel like harming yourself? Um, not right now. No, I don't. I'm good. Not right now? Yeah. Do you feel like harming yourself often? I don't, I don't, I can't predict that. You can't predict that? No. So when you did, when you did this to yourself, Yeah. was that because you wanted to harm yourself? Yeah, no. No, it's just because I want to, I don't want to harm anybody else. You don't want to and harm anybody else. I just get so else. frustrated and angry. Do you think you get frustrated and angry to the point where you might seriously hurt yourself? 
No, that's no. no. I'm are you depressed? A coward for that. Are you depressed? I mean, everybody goes through depression sometimes. Right. But are you suicidal? No. You're not suicidal. I'm trying to take my own life. Okay. Maybe I do it to make them feel bad. Maybe I do it to make them feel bad for making me that angry. Okay. Are you suicidal? No. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat in that on the chair. Go inside for me. Mom, come talk to me. It's cold out here. I know. So. <laughs> Unfortunately, because you haven't witnessed anything, and their stories are the same, I, I, hate, I don't have. There's nothing I can do. Okay. My hands are tied. So you can call again if you think they're if they get into an argument again. You can call again, and we can come out and for the same thing. Mm -hmm. But until you witness her being assaulted, and there's really there's nothing we can do. You know what I mean? Yes. So I'm gonna take the report. Okay. Um, I'm gonna log it so we'll have, you know, we'll we'll know that this happened. And so if we get called out here again in the future, we'll at least have this to go off of. And then maybe we can, you know, build a build a stronger case down the line. Okay. But as of right now, we just don't have enough to, you know, um, do anything. Okay. Another thing I was going to try to do was, is if your daughter was thinking about harming herself, if she was suicidal, we could put her on a 51, 53 day suicide hold. Yeah. But she, she seems like she's in the right mind. Yeah. So, I'm sorry. There's nothing that we can do. We just gotta be on our way. Okay. Thank all, you. All right. Sorry about that. Enjoy. Hey, Tabitha, just keep it cool. All right. If she hurts you, if she, if she hits you, you let me know. Okay. All right, Bonnie. You're all set. I think we, we all know what's probably going on here. But at the same time, there's nothing that I can do about it. So you're going to go back to work and do your thing. And if we get called back out here, you may go to jail. So I would suggest that you all start to get along and don't hit each other. Sound good? All right. Thank you. Thanks, Bonnie. Of course, when you go with your shot. We're going to be 10 8 in clear. 420 control. Go ahead. Four two zero. We appear to have a frequent flyer. You're being dispatched that way for a domestic disturbance again. The reporting party is Margaret Gray. New dispatch. Control 422. Control 422, I'm in the area as well. 422, I'll attach to that call. Control 422, 420 on scene. Copy on scene. What's your name? Carla. Where's, uh, where's Tabitha and Bonnie at? Yep. Uh, turtled. <laughs> did turtle. Sheriff's Department! Oh, she's on top. Big Red's on top of her. Big Red's on top. Inside, left, left, left. Are you okay? Are you okay? Put Come this way. Out. Put your hands out. Crawl away, oh, yeah. crawl Put away. Them Put them out. Control no, no, 421, no. fight him, understand. Back away, back away! <sighs> Big Red, what's going on? 
On the ground. On the ground, give me your hands. On the ground, give me your hands. Give me your hands. Put her back down. Uh, uh, get down. Get down. Give me your hands. Get down. Get down. Give me your get hands. On the Come on. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Stop resisting. Give me your hands. Stay there. Stop resisting. Give me your hands. You're not in any trouble. Give me your hands. Till we figure out what's going on, I need your hands. Relax. Get off me. Relax. I'll get off you. You stay there. Give me your hands. Big Red, you hear me? Give me your hands. No. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. <laughs> Give me your hands. I will take you if you do not calm down. Do you understand? Do you Give understand? me both of your hands. Give me your other hand, put it behind your back. Put it behind your back, all the way. Put them up, just like that. Big Red, you are about to get taped. You understand? I level voltage through your system. I do not want to do that. Secured. I'm getting up. You good? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Ladies, what's going on? She's hungry. Stay. She was hungry? Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Separate. Let's go a little bit. Let's go across his chair. I There's still nobody here. Who called? How was I supposed to call? Who called? Me? You called? <laughs> what happened? Who's fighting and just stop it. I just can't take this anymore. Okay. I just can't watch them fight anymore. Who started it? They just both together at the same time. Both together, they just yes. went right at it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What was the fight over? Outside. You outside. I don't need any people over here. Outside. Here you go. On the ground, on your face. Who's that? She involved? No. Lay down. You stay in that hallway. Don't come in Lay here. Lay down. Lay down. On your face. <laughs> Just curious. Just curious. There you go. Like an ice skater in here. What's up? You guys can't stop fighting for one day? It's been three days or something, hasn't it? So it's been more than one day. Stand up. Get your knees under you. There you go. Stand up. Walk. Walk in here. Who else is home with you guys? Okay. Stand right here. What's going on? What just happened? Oh, you saw it. No, I didn't see it actually. My partner saw it. Oh, your partner saw it. What was going on? Nothing. She was just trying to feed me. She was trying to feed you? That's what she said. That's what she said? Yeah. So how to it start? Well, you know, same old, same old. I don't do nothing. And I just sit on the couch and eat food. So she was going to feed me. Yeah? Yeah. And then what? Then I wasn't going to let her. Okay. And then what? Who? Then we ended up on the floor with Cheerios in my face. Who touched who first? Uh, psh, maybe it was a mutual touch. You guys both came at each other at yeah, the same time? Maybe. Then she comes over to you. Starts with the same bullshit again. Yeah. You're not doing nothing. Uh -huh. You sit on the couch eating. Yeah, uh -huh. But she wants to feed you. Yeah. She was coming at you. Yeah. Okay. But I can wear her too. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Well, I, don't I don't remember that far back. You remember that? No. Uh, you don't remember how it started? Just, it's, I just Relax. remember that she said that I sit on the couch and feed my face too much and I don't do shit. Okay. Do you want to press charges against no. her? No. 
No. Okay. Here. Why don't you come outside with me? Stop All it! Right, stop! Stand up. You alright? Stand up. Okay, partner? Yeah, I'm good. You alright? Stand up. Not you. I'm talking about partner. Stand up. Walk outside. Huh? I meant how do I stand up? It's hard to stand up when I got cuffs on me. Yeah, no, I'm trying to help you. Anything on you need to know about? Anything that's gonna poke me, stick me, stab me? No. Nothing's gonna hurt me? No. What you got on you? I got two lighters and a key. Two lighters and a key? Yeah. Where are the or lighters maybe at? There's only one lighter now. Where are the lighters at? Pocket right here, both of them. Which pocket? This one. Both of them right here? Yep. One. I, I think my mom has the other lighter actually. Just one lighter then? Yeah. What about in this pocket? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing hidden in your bra or anything like that? Have a seat. Butt in first. Those cuffs all right? Before I put you in, are those cuffs all right? Fine. They're all right? Okay, sit in. Have a seat, we're gonna go speak with her, okay? All right, what's your side of the story? You been drinking today? No. Okay, you been doing drugs today? Just pot. Just pot? Okay. What started all this? She wouldn't make me dinner. She wouldn't make me dinner since I did all the chores. Okay. She went and she fed herself. So she ate, but you didn't eat, so you're upset about that. Yep. Okay, and so how did, when did it turn into a physical altercation? She threw her food at me. She threw some food at you? And then what happened? So I jumped on top of her and started shoving cereal down her throat. Okay. Do you want to press charges against her for assaulting you? No. No? What was she saying when, uh, when she threw the food at you? Make your own food. Make your own food? And she just tossed it at you to hit you? Yeah. Where did it hit you? On my leg. What was it? It's a plate of food. A plate of food? Did you with the plate too? Yeah? Okay. So she, hits, she, she, she throws a plate of food at you, you get upset, and you grab her, and you start shoving Cheerios down her throat. Yeah. yeah but how, so how did you end up in the kitchen on the floor? Both well, started from over there, and she worked her way in here. Okay. So you guys are on the couch, she throws a plate of food at you, you jump on top of her? Pretty much. Okay. And then from there, you all start tussling back and forth, and you end up here somehow. With the Cheerios. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hang out for me. You already search your partner? Uh, yeah. I, I did. She clear? Yeah. Hey, mom. All right. Your story. What happened here? Did step step over here. Step, step over here. Right here. Right yeah, I know that. I just can't take it anymore. But no. Tell me what happened tonight. Samantha, or Tabitha was making the food, and um, she was making Bonnie a plate too, but Bonnie was just being impatient. And so, just this is Bonnie, correct? Yeah. Okay. Big Red. Big Red. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So Bonnie's getting impatient. Tabitha's trying to make her food. Yes, and um, then I don't know. They just start calling each other names and everything, and then things start flying. And okay. Plates fly and Cheerios fly and. Now it's a terrible mess in there, and I'm going to have to clean it up again. All right, stand by once. I'm just going to turn this off, all right? Don't want anything to burn down. You going to stay there? Control 420. We're code 4 2 detained. Okay, so I don't understand if they love each other why they why I have they, a code for two, sir. So 
call each other names and... Tabitha's making food. I'm just trying to get the facts straight. Tabitha's making food. Uh-huh. It's not going Bonnie's way. Uh-huh. Who escalates the situation from there? Tabitha did. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Hey, why don't you step outside so she can't hear what we're saying. It's right in your porch. Keep your mouth shut while I continue my investigation. You're going to pick up an additional charge. Okay? Don't interfere. Keep your mouth shut. Try to stay out of jail. I'm scared to go to jail. Was this honey nut? Yep. Alright. So, Tab 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 makes food. Yeah. Big Red comes over, gets upset. She starts yelling at her. She starts yeah. grabbing her or what? Um, yeah, I watched a, her come across and get her and then... That's what Big Red did? Yes. Tabitha first? Yes. Okay. And then Tabitha threw the plate at her. And then from there, I don't know, they were just brawling and then Cheerios and I got out of the way. Okay. Which, um, and are you willing to sign, sign a witness statement to that? Yes. Okay. So we have, so in your opinion, is Big Red... The aggressor. Which, she was the aggressor? I believe so. Okay, and Tabitha just re- threw the plate at her in a reaction yeah. as to react to her yes. hitting her, hitting her, you said she hit her in the throat? Yeah. Or hit her in the side? Yeah. Hit her in the side of the neck? Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead and hang out inside. Let me just finish up what we got to do here, and we'll most likely be taking uh, Big Red to jail. All right. All right? All right. Let me go speak with Tabitha real quick. Be interested in a program like that? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah? Okay. Walk me through. You're you're making food. You make food for yourself? Yeah. Were you making food for uh, for Big Red too? I just Yeah, I don't remember it. Okay. And what, what happened when you were making the food? Did she come over and just start attacking you? Well, no, she started yelling and telling me I didn't don't you think I've had enough pizza? Yeah. And then I just said, fuck you. She said, I don't do nothing. And she just grabbed the chairs and started putting them on. So t- did she touch you first? The chair, well, did you throw a plate at her? Um, yeah. Okay, and did you throw the plate at her before or after she touched you? I don't remember. You don't recall? I threw a plate, but that's all I know. Do you want to press assault charges on her? No. Okay. Well, in this case, we have a witness that saw you guys fighting, so one of you is going to go to jail, regardless, for domestic violence, for assault domestic Let me see your neck. Let me see the other, the other side of your neck. This big, where'd this, where'd this big lump come from right here? Where'd this big red know. come from right there? You don't know? Just be honest with me. I don't know, we were scuffling on the floor. You saw her, your partner saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Who knows? Okay. State press charges in a domestic violence situation. So right now, based on my preliminary investigation... Nope. Nope. Where, where do you keep going? Where do you, where do you have to go? Where do you have to go? Just give me a minute. And we're going to figure all that out for you. Okay. Control 420. You, you warm back here? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, the cuffs aren't bothering you? No. Okay, good. Did you know she sucked dick for food stamp? Did she get arrested for that? Fortune Zero, I have the watch commander. Give you a 21, he should be calling you any minute. How are those cuffs? Are you too tight?
Let's go back to your bike. Let's sit down. There you go. Stay there. One bolt, one or one, one or the other, or both. This is where I'm at. Okay, thanks, Sarge. See ya. All right. You both are going this time. Um, I got one in my car, so put her in yours. Yeah. You want to get tased? Stop. You want to get tased? Relax. You're going to make this worse for yourself. Don't pick up an additional felony. You have the right to remain silent and not say anything which might incriminate yourself. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You can stop answering questions I ask you at any time. You have the right to have a lawyer with you during questioning or before going to court. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you. Do each one of you understand your rights? No. What don't you understand? Any of it. Any of it? Well, which Any part in particular? The whole thing. Okay, well then I recommend that you remain silent, exercise your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent, you and don't say there. anything. Where are you going to go? Bonnie, what about you? Do you understand those rights? They understand. No. You understand? What don't you understand? What do you need me to explain to you? I Which part? Retardation okay, well then I suggest that you also exercise your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent and not say anything that might incriminate yourself. You got part. You got her. Yep. Spread your feet apart. You have her. I love you. I love you. All right. Um, I talked to the sergeant. Yeah. We're gonna book them both on domestic violence, mutual combat, yeah. and then the detectives, the DA, will hash it out and drop one of the charges and figure it out from there. But they both need to go. That sounds good. Hi, right, brother. Because she's well. She's saying she's just nonstop about it, so I can't get her to calm down. Yeah, I'm gonna get a witness statement from mom. If you want to get ahead of me, go to the station and do all that. Yep. I'll take care of mom, and then I'll meet you down there. Sounds good. All right, bro. All right, partner. Thank you.